Hello everyone, Xeno Zuma here. Just part of the protocol, Welcome back to more Let's Play Xenoblade. Time bears down on us without mercy. Free. How should we live the days that we have left? What should we spend them on? We saw one possible answer to those questions. But we cannot accept it. Not even as a last resort. After all, it was the only path that was offered to those two. We should all be free to choose our own way. That's our belief. That's why we fight. You gonna hit something or not? Huh? What use is swinging that slab if you ain't gonna swing it at one of the actual targets? But I'm just practicing. Say, why a hammer? Uh. This looks more your style. Huh. Totally. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, silly. She beat five eight-termers in a row. Mio, eh? She that offseer? Yeah, she should be the one heading to the front lines, not us. Nice one, Mimi! That was awesome! Poor eighth termers. You mopped the floor with them. Thank you, Senna. <laughs> Hang on. Where's Miabi? Oh, Miabi? The commander and consul wanted to see her in command. Oh, okay. Hey, fancy a bite? Mmm. Mmm, sure. I'm a bit peckish. It's a bit early, I suppose. No! I'm ready if you are. Huh? I was under the impression that you didn't like fish. Huh? Ah, uh, that is true, <laughs> but can't be too picky. My muscles need protein, you know? <laughs> hey, Senna, there's no need for this. Huh? Just be yourself. You know you don't have to do what I do, right? N no that's not... Senna. Uh, sorry. Come on. You say that too often. You've nothing to apologize for, Senna. Uh, okay. Eat what you enjoy. Never stop being you. Okay? Uh...
I think that should be far enough. Did I do good out there? Hmm? What was that? Huh? What's that? <laughs> did, did I say something? Uh, I mean, you just said something about doing good or whatever? Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Must have just slipped out. <laughs> You seem so lonely. Huh? At training, in camp, at night. She's always got friends right by her. But why does it seem like she's all alone? How come? So that's the way you see me, huh? A loner? Senna. I was hoping more plucky heroin girl or one track muscle head. That's more what I kind of shoot for. Now look. Oh, no, you don't. I think you're just being nosy. Senna, please. I'm fine. Really. Don't worry about me. for us. Usually, strategy is something you were supposed to prepare beforehand. Noah? I guess we have no more for uses for castles and queens, huh? We're not going back. I know that much. Nope. We're going forward now. You're right. Not far before we reach Sword March. Let's go. Magnus strips and Kevas strips. Even Kevesi forces are fighting. Here we go, guys. Out of the way. I'll follow your lead. Surprise! We're going, you lead. We're climbing on the damage. We're going to walk in. Energy strike. Keep it going. That's it. Swoop. I'll draw them. Keep it going. Time to end. 
region. Do you think this 
city thing's really real. <laughs> I'm starting to get butterflies. Good place to take a breather. Everyone camp. Let's rest for a moment. I'm starving. Got anything I can eat? Let's see if we can level up. See if we can level up once. I definitely feel stronger. Ah. Turn weapons just do ready not to work. Go. Actually, just do a quick check. Yes, still no. Let me check. Huh? This is new. The bonus path. Oh, but aren't you a ginormous sparker? Whoa, where's the top? We finally made it, huh? Quite. <sighs> Let's get to the base of the sword. Guernica told us to come here. There has to be something. Be on your guard, yeah? Because we've really been pushing our luck lately. Whoa, that's one for the books. Shut up. Lans is right, though. Keep your eyes peeled. Great Swords Base. We've never been here before. What's wrong? Mio. I hear a strange sound. Sound? What? What is that noise? Something's wrong here. Noah! Those Levnesses. They're the ones that attacked the castle. Yes, no question. Which means... The name's Monica. Monica Vanden. The man who entrusted Ouroboros to you. I'm his daughter. Daughter? You know Guernica. You're headed for the city, ain't you? How do you...? That's our base of operations. Come on. What? Shania, take point. Yeah, all right. Oh. 
stay close. That is from earlier, just appeared in the sky. Yep. Oh, and before we take you to say, you have to wear these. Eye patches. Oh, with iris. Eye patches? The same ones we wear. Put them over the eye where your iris is. Well, they won't hurt you. Thanks for the cooperation. We appreciate this. So, I say we aren't hostile, but that might not be enough to earn your trust, I'm guessing. If it lays your fears to rest, you can treat me as your prisoner until we reach the city. Huh? Yeah, but doesn't sound right, darling. Don't want a prisoner? Whatever, I'll be your escort then. I should point out, you won't find anyone better over a base in the lost number. Yeah, well, don't bash us about with it or anything. If I wanted to, then your attitude would have already would have earned you a fraction already. So, let's be on our way. Shania? Shania will show you how to go. Vanguard. Interesting. Shockwave. Geo Breaker. Tom Pulse. Bolt Flinger. And Lightning Strike. Jesus! Huh? Is Always that... nice to see a new face. Currently not wanting to fight, so please don't. And if it is a fight, only one enemy. I kinda wish we did have follow the NPC, especially when we're faster than her apparently. Seriously. Fight with focus! I know, I know, I'll bring myself in.
Nice, nice touch. Uh, yeah, Archer's situation. Nice break. Nice. Reactivation. 15 plus 2 feet. Jesus. Touch though, but they have iPads as well. Didn't even need to do that. You think about it. Still did it. But didn't need to. Shall we deal with this? Really? Uh, Screw this! Take this guy out! I'm usually not one for fighting, but god, I, I want. Then we're fleeing. Then we're fleeing. Because if we're not pulled enemies, then we're not doing it. Screw off! Game, seriously. Oh my god. Screw off! This is not fun. Do it make me follow the NPC? Make sure the NPC. Can I ask you something? Just keep following Shania, will you? We'll talk more later. If you're going to make it, just make them run a path. And if you're too far away by a big radius, then have her them stop until they catch up. Especially with this game, where it's just like. Yeah. Made it in one piece. Sword face.
And how are we meant to get into the city from here? Um, yeah, this is a dead end. Wrong. Meh? A door? This leads into the great sword. The city is this way. What a masterful disguise. Huh? Whenever I said there was something of interesting sort, March. Guess you never found this. Hey, you guys done? Can we get going? Well, it's gonna be nice coming back here probably. If it's familiar pathways. Topographical info updated. Sword passage. What a brilliant contraption. No wonder nobody's ever found it. <laughs> You'd better save some of that surprise. inside the great sword all along save a bit of surprise i said made it in one piece So, Guernica, that's... that wrinkly guy. Back then. Yeah. You said you were his daughter. What's that mean? I completely forgot. You don't understand the concept of parenthood. I'll explain later. Later meaning in the city? That's where the elevator's taking us. You'll be needing those eye patches now. And what for? Those put a spanner in Mobius's recon. Mobius's? When you become Ouroboros, your irises change. And they start emitting a weak radio signal. And so, we're blocking that signal. With these things? What about yours? Are you Ouroboros too? We'll go with that. Sorry? You see, we're bound by Ouroboros' blood. Just what are you? <laughs> We're so high up! What a view! I've never seen anything like it! Certainly takes your breath away. Can you save your observations for later? Come on! Interesting... Great Swords Hilt. In essence... Contact to Xenoblade 1. Check it out! Bullets digging this a hole. would be roughly where Galahad Fortress was. You have got to be king. Kevin's castle has got nothing on this dizzying height. Ah! 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 Ah!
Really, Monica? has got nothing on this dizzying oh. height. What? You're telling me. Just looking down makes me feel faint. Um, my head kind of hurts. Hey, this one means business. Oh, God. Can you guys not? Oh, I can just rush ahead. Entrance is up ahead. Say entrance. Okay, I'll say what everyone's thinking. This is all sparking amazing. You can take the eye patches off and off now. We won't be. We won't need them past the point. 
Oh, oh right. And y you're sure about this? About that? This has got some single jamming tech, but functions like eye patches, block detection, by Mobius. We're same aside. You have my word. I suppose that must be the reason why we haven't been able to discover the cities thus far. Got that right. This place is our last readout and our sole haven in this world. But as soon as we step aside, movies are all over us like a bad wolf's weather. So what I'm saying is, don't forget your eye patches when you're out and about. That's all. I hear you loud and clear. We'll remember. Was cutting here, why didn't you just add that together? City, <laughs> you could have just given this an actual name for it. This is the city, it sure took us long enough. We shouldn't relax just yet, though. Why this park not? We don't even know if they're really our allies yet. We can't get complacent. Still on guard, huh? Unlike some of you daydreamers, yes. I'd like to believe them. Their eyes... They look the same as his. They said they opposed Mobius, didn't they? It should be okay, then, to trust them. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Gotcha. Bloody sparks. Why do I bother? Thank you, Tyon. For looking out for us. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'll follow your lead. But please, stay vigilant. Of course we will. There you go. New colony data. I wouldn't call this... Colony. Than half a dozen colonies. Are there really so many people? This is beyond anything we could have imagined. Uroboros. Uroboros, yeah. So they're Uroboros? And they're from Kevis and Agnes. But they're just a bunch of kids. Watch yourselves. They could be secret spies. It's over. This place will be a war zone. They're all whispering about us. I feel we're not exactly welcome here. Uninvited guests, one might say. They're the ones who led us here. Oh, hey. Doesn't she look similar to the Mobius we fought at Colony 4? It's true. Wrinkly prune faces abound here. Mananas by tiny people too! It's whole undiscovered race! No. They must be... humans, just like us. So you're Ouroboros, eh? Huh? You've got, what, one or two years left? Some hope you are. Don't know why Van Damme wasted that power on you. What was he thinking? <sighs> What's your problem? Mind your manners. Let me introduce you. These were our Ouroboros candidates. They trained relentlessly to fight against Mobius. Each and every one of them. That includes Shania there. Candidates? You happy? That you stole Ouroboros from us? <sighs> All right, that's enough. Whatever the reason, the old man did choose them. To be fair, they have gone against quite a few Mobius already. They're the real thing, all right. You heard Shania's reports. What reports? I had her monitor your actions with extreme scrutiny. All the way from the valley. Huh? Since way back then? <laughs> Together, 
We are united in our cause. Miss Vanden. Uh, all right then. Please, it's not their fault. They're not a bad lot, really. That's easy for you to say. Well, that was awkward as all ash. Always nice to see a new face. I'll introduce you to them another time. You, um, you said that you were monitoring us earlier. So is that why, why you stormed the castle? After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I've been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. Ah. Uh. I was flipping out. Your actions were so reckless. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raven lunatics. They kind of looked that way. That's a little too harsh. <laughs> Sorry, poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. Still, it helped us complete one of our primary objectives. Securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. <sighs> now I know how you guys felt in Colony 4. Right? At least they warmed up to us eventually. Maybe it'll be the same here. Let me check. Always nice to see a new face. Would you believe it? <sighs> We're now more or less above the sword's hilt guard. Even this place was once ravaged by war. By Kevis and Agnes. Has the war really spread this far? There's even more. More husks underneath. <sighs> This right here is what the world is really like. Designed to keep us shackled. Keep us shackled? Huh! Would you believe it? Oh my god. You know that pile of husks earlier? You aren't thinking about sending those on, are you? Aren't those... Cradles? Your so-called cradles... ...are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth. Trained to kill one another ruthlessly, and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks, becoming the fuel that feeds Mobius. In order for Mobius to exist, they must continue to claim life energy. And these cradles right here, they're used to recycle your lives. Ethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude, so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. No way. There's your shackles.
Soldiers bound by Mobius' shackles are destined only for mutual destruction. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle, a blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Wait, then that husk I saw... But, if we keep your lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here, they're of no use to them. This way, we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, the price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents? We're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Uh, right. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. Would you believe it? When we stop, so we have the fortune to fight. And then we die. Over and over and over. I can hardly believe it. But it was Ethel, without a doubt. Just like have a direction of where we have to go and not have to follow Shania. Okay. Uh. Oh. <sighs> This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Doctor, may I? It's so small. It's a little person. It's so teensy tiny, but it moves. Much rejoicing! Uh, it's okay to touch her. Uh, uh, gently now.
in her palm. Senna. <laughs> Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. All right then, lads and lasses. Who wants to know how babies are made? Hmm. Well, you're in for a surprise. Buckle up! This is how it should be. This is human nature. We are born defenseless, grow up. Then those who find a spouse create new life together, age, then return to the earth. Thank you. I mean it. Monica. What was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Well... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it. You'll understand too someday. Or it might be that you already do.
and we're still not done with the cutscenes. I'm not ending this episode until we are done with sh having to follow Shania. Shania. Seriously. Tyon, look. Hmm. It looks the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros. That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others... I don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the Queen's, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving, it took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the Queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real Queens. Yes, real Queens! I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that, I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that... both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So, when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old. They're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go... for us, too. Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this... is the will of Ouroboros. You kids, and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is... 
whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders, it lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so precious. Yeah. More walking to do? This is the last stretch. Let's get you to the dorms. Do you want to do one last check before we go to the last cutscene? What the fuck? The Kevis and Anna's warning levels have combined to form a single Morbius. Mobius warning level. Call the new relations change, looks like. I do want to check this. Yeah, there's no plaques. Oh, this would have been cool to know. To know if these guys had names. And if they potentially. Man, I think I need some time to process all this. Yeah. Quite a weight to carry. Absorbing all this in one go. Potentially, who might think? This is the dorm for young lost numbers soldiers. Sleep here while you're in the city. You can ask the guy about your rooms. Oh, and sadly, there's no kitchen in the building. A lot of the single soldiers eat at Machba Canteen. But if you want to see your own cooking, feel free to use that empty plot of land there. Got it. Thank you, Monica. Tomorrow, we have a lot to discuss. Agreed. How shall we read it? Maybe the lost number is the war room. It's the place down the left near the Praetorian Hill, which we passed on the way here. I'll let you know closer to time. Oh, before I forget, you're free to square say. As you will. Is that really okay? I said we weren't hot out, right? I thought you'd be pleased not to have me breathing down your necks. No, we're grateful. Thanks for everything. And finally, we are free. So, with that, next time on Let's Play. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Leave the enemies to me. We will keep us safe from harm. Probably continue on. Signing out.